Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to look at how to work with keyboard shortcuts. Now we have this plan here and I'm going to go to the architectural tab and I'm going to go to level 1 floor plan. Now here we have the wall command, door, window, components, right? But to work faster with any application you need to know the keyboard shortcuts. So if I want to start a wall command Instead of taking my mouse all the way to the wall command and then clicking on it, I want to start that command by pressing some keys on the keyboard. Now let's go back to modify command and then which will take us out from that command. First thing I want to mention here, we go to the view tab and we go to user interface and then we will see a keyboard shortcut here. And I'm going to click on it and which will bring us this dialog box. And here we can see all of the keyboards are available for us to use. I'm going to search for the wall command. So let's type wall. I press enter by accident. So I'm just going to go back and search for wall. And now the shortcut key for the wall architect is WA. So let's try that. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to modify to get out from the command. And now I don't have any commands selected. So on the keyboard, if I press WA, and as you can see, it started a wall command by pressing WA. I'm going to click on modify, and then we don't have any commands selected. Now there's another way that you can find out what are the what are the keyboard shortcut for these particular commands. So if I hover over my cursor onto the wall, we get to see this tooltip. Tooltip are useful in a learning curve as well. So right now we can see there's a wall command so you can create these kinds of wall with the help of this wall command. Now we see that wall word and after that in the parentheses there's a word WA. So any command has a shortcut key will show you the shortcut key in, uh, when you look at the tooltip. So let's look at the door shortcut key. So I'm going to hover over cursor here and for the door is DR. For the window it's WN. Now let's try them. So I'm going to type DR on the keyboard and now as you can see it started the door command. Now one more thing I want to mention here. So let's say you are in the door command you want to start a wall command. So what was the command for the wall that was WA? We are still in door command. So I'm going to go to the modify tab and now let's say if I press enter, it will start the previous command. So right now we can look at the wall command. So we know that before we selected the door command, we use the wall command. So go to the previous command, you can simply press enter. But even if you are in the same command, let's say we are in a wall command, and I want to go to the window command, so I can simply type WN. It will switch that wall command to window command. You don't have to get out from the command by pressing escape or clicking on modify command. You just simply type the shortcut key for the particular command and it will change the command to the next command, whatever the shortcut key you will apply. Now let's type WA again and we are back with the wall command. Let's type DR for the door command, WN for the window command. And I've already shown you, if you go to the view tab, go to user interface and then click on keyboard shortcut. In this dialog box, you can add more shortcut keys to the particular commands. Now, let's say we want to change that wall command to something else. So we go to WA. I'm going to search for wall actually. And here I'm going to select that. And now I can press a new key. So here if I type AS and I'll click on assign and it will change that to AS. Now we still have WA, I'm going to select that, I'm going to click on remove and now we have only one shortcut key for the wall command which is AS. One thing I want to mention here that if a command, like if those keys are already in use with other command, then you might override those commands. So you got to pay attention that whatever you are changing and make sure it the same shortcut keys is not applied to any other command. So I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to assign WA again. I'm going to click on assign 
I'm going to select AS and I'm going to remove that to make it back to the default customization. And now you can import shortcut keys. You can export these shortcut keys as well. So let's say you are going to switch computer and you're going to install Revit again on your new computer or maybe you will be working in office and you have a, a new installation of Revit. So what you can do, you can click on export and you will export this shortcut key in XML file. And then you will save that file, put it in a USB, take it to your office or any other computer where you want to use the same shortcut keys and you will simply click on import and it, you will browse to that file and click on open and it will import all of the shortcut keys for you. It's a very useful feature. Now we have filter options. So these are all the filter options. If you want to look at just the application menu here, if you want to look at a navigation bar commands here, so you can just filter out things as well. We're going to go to all and I'm going to click OK. So one more thing I want to mention here about tooltip. Tooltip is pretty great way to learn Revit if you're not sure about something, let's say, if you are not sure how to use this command and you want to learn so you can look at those animations so some of the command will actually play an animation so to show you guys that how to use this command to demonstrate that let's select the wall command again and I'm going to look at this align command so if I hover on my cursor and it's saying that video is loading and now as you can see that we got the animation playing for us the tooltips are a great way to find out if it's any command that you think this is not working. So tooltips is another way to learn Revit.